it's Around Town with Mandy, and I'm in Sellersville at Patriot Acres Brewery. And the question is, what's on tap? So Patriot Acres is known for their family-friendly atmosphere. From cornhole, to the wagon train, to opening soon, they've got a corn maze and a beer garden. Everyone's welcome. It's gorgeous out here. And behind me, you can see their indoor playground. Everyone's welcome. As you make your way into Patriot Acres, don't be alarmed if you hear someone hollering, security. It's just the dog. So I'm here with the owners. How are you today? I'm good. Thank good. you. Good. And what is your name? Shauna Truitt. Shauna Truitt. And your name? Brian Truitt. Brian Truitt. So tell us a little bit about Patriot Acres. How did it begin? The name, of course, everybody wants to know. I retired from the Maryland National Guard after doing eight years active duty, uh, 12 National Guard. We wanted to do something with the farm that kind of represented, you know, my time in the service that we came up with Patriot Acres. Started out as basically an alpaca farm and going from there, we tried to figure out how to enhance selling our alpaca products right. and we went with... Uh, farm brewery there we go so uh it kind of took on a life of its own after we had made that decision and now we have the farm brewery and where we sell our alpaca products and a lot of the different beers that we brew here on the farm as i can see behind us there's a wall full of beers that you are brewing now yes ma'am so the wall changes constantly sometimes several times a day is there a popular beer that everybody seems to like or does it change Right now we're being harassed for our Irish Red that we had on probably from March until a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. We finally ran out of it. It was originally called Maggie's Irish Red. A uh, good customer of ours, good friend, passed away unexpectedly. That was his favorite beer. We renamed it to Larry's Irish Red. We're giving it a little bit of a break just to give everybody something new on the board. And we're, they're, they're, they're forming groups and, and support groups and, and things. So <laughs> For that. Yes. So that it, it may come back. We're not it, sure. Oh, yeah, it's they're coming back. They're yes. <laughs> it's kind of cool when, you know, we have people that uh, follow us on social media that live in Australia, that live in other parts in the world. Wow. They're like, oh, yeah, I've tried this beer. Uh, really love it and uh, love what you're doing and can't wait to come visit sometime. You use some of your farm sources yes to turn around back into the brewery to make some of your beer yes that's one of the requirements for having a class eight farm brewery license is to use something that you uh grow on the farm okay. so we do have hops that we grow we grow the cascade for variety uh -huh. Uh, we also grow um, strawberries pumpkins uh, we have bees for honey and all of those qualify for us um, being a farm brewer using uh -huh. those different items in um, some sort of the beer process nice and i noticed behind us as we can see your eight taps but people can come in and buy growlers and crowlers or as the younger kids tell me they're roadies <laughs> roadies yeah um yeah you can come in get uh, a flight you can get a pint um, we can fill the crowlers with anything that we have on tap and if people bring in their own growlers, we'll go ahead and fill those as well. Like you said, there's other things that you have here as well. You sell um, your alpaca items. Mm -hmm. um, and I see over there you have some soap. Yes, ma'am, that's from our goats. I milk the goats and we uh, make soap with it and that sells out really well. We're gonna take a tour around the farm and meet the famous Stuart Little. Yes, he is, he is famous. <laughs> he has been on national TV or actually regional TV people call and ask if he's here. So tell me a little bit about the world famous Stuart Little. This is Stuart Little. He's a Sarama. He's a Malaysian breed. He's four years old and he's the teeny tiny rooster. He is teeny tiny. And as you can oh. see, <laughs> he talks he's to. talking to mm -hmm. us. A nice sit under a shady tree, drinking farm brewed beer, holding baby goats. That's correct. And I'm here with Paige. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So who do we have here? Is this a new baby to the farm? Yes, this is Delilah. She was born, I think, about a week ago. Oh, she's yeah. so cute. <laughs> and there's so many more animals, as we can see. We've got yes. dogs and goats <laughs> and chickens and alpacas and... It just goes on. Yes, it does. And there seems to be always another one. Everything going on at Patriot Acres, I forgot to introduce 
one of the most important people here at the farm, the ambassador of fun. Cooper, how are you? Good. Good. So tell us, you're you're the ambassador of fun. What kind of fun things happen at Patriot Acres? Well, I have my chores that I normally do. I feed these alpacas that are behind us right now and these dogs. I feed all the dogs. Um, I take care of the kids, the goats, make sure that nobody gets hurt. So you're in charge of making sure everyone's safe on the playground, the animals are taken care of, fed, and enjoy the farm lifestyle. Yep. We need to tell them when they can come. Yep. Uh, we're open Fridays from 4 to 8, Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to 6. The last call is 5. 5.45 for Saturdays and Sundays and 7.45 on Fridays. Special thanks to Patriot Acres for having us up and tour the brewery and the farm and all the animals. And what an awesome place. So if you're looking for a place to come, chill, hang out, meet Stuart Little and all the other animal friends, make your way to Sellersville. But this calls for a cold one.